Rennie, behind you, behind you. I just seen something tall. What did you find? I saw like a, a figure. I actually saw the trees like that. Dude, there's something around us. I feel like we're being watched. I'm gonna... Oh shit! I'm Mo Sarji. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, were telling her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the ah! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, talk, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another adventure. I'm bringing you guys another Slenderman adventure with my boy Renny over here. You guys know we're doing this thing in this small town with a really, really big forest. It's all forest land out here in the middle of nowhere. Tonight, we're actually going to be camping out in the Slenderman forest. We've actually talked to an owner of some properties out here to letting us stay the night in their, basically their backyard. Massive land. Like I said, the whole forest is connected. Thousands and thousands of acres. We're going to be sleeping on 100 acres tonight. And sightings of Slenderman have have happened in the backyards in this forest a lot of people have basically seen Slenderman we have some photos to show you guys throughout this video photos from the locals that they've taken on this property we're actually gonna go to our campsite explore that a little bit and then we're gonna take you guys through this trail throughout the day and we're gonna be exploring the forest we're actually gonna be setting up two base camps one is where we're gonna be sleeping and another one is where we're gonna be leaving a camera inside another tent in the forest near where sightings have taken place. Big shout out to Renny for helping me on this, guys. I'm gonna leave his Instagram down below. Go follow me on Instagram, at Mosarge. We're doing the Slenderman experiment. You guys know, never been done before. We're doing an entire experiment. The whole goal for us to be out here today is to sleep here in the Slenderman forest and try to trap Slenderman. Like, that's like the goal, is to yeah. kind of like trap him, see him. But we already encountered him the first day. We encountered him on the first day. We did, we caught a- Show, show it on camera. Like bring it up this is footage. a this is a replay clip of what we caught and it actually looks like Slenderman in the background which is absolutely insane that we received from the person Mo! Mo! I got it I know you guys love the Slenderman series which is why all I ask from you guys is to smash like button this like button gets these videos recommended guys and it gets these videos pumping and moving so if you guys want more stuff like this we're gonna be doing a lot more so this is the Slenderman experiment in full force the whole part of this experiment is to give you guys epic content entertaining content free content that you guys don't have to pay for unlike Netflix so like I said guys all I ask from you guys is to comment something positive down below let me know if you guys want more and what else we should do with these Slenderman experiments we got ourselves a nice little fire pit and this is where my tent's gonna be and Rennie is gonna be somewhere over there so that's pretty cool the owner of this place have actually like set up an outdoor porta potty for us which is super nice of her now she did have some crazy experiences with the whole Slenderman thing throughout this place so it's really awesome of her to let us to just like park our truck here and camp out the night here today and try to document investigate and see what we can find out here so this is gonna be main camp we're gonna have two camps we're gonna have main camp and then we're gonna have secondary camp I mean we're gonna set up the a bunch of camps house, wherever we put it up we'll definitely have this camera running yeah yeah we have to have a camera running at the secondary camp let's do it all right sergeants Rennie and I are trekking through this massive forest trying to find a good campsite um, before we bring all our gear because we're gonna be camping out here in this forest where Slenderman has been sighted. I know you guys are really excited about these episodes that we're doing and uh, we're not like messing around here. We want to spend the night here tonight. We have food, we have tents, and this place is a massive, massive property. Oh, wow. She wasn't kidding. No. 100 acres. So the person that lives on this property, obviously, you know, she gave us permission to spend the night here and document our experience. She's had experiences of her own as we said in the intro. And uh, we're just, you know, kind of trekking. It's a hundred acres, so it's really big. FYI, um, Rennie's wearing a jacket because he doesn't want to get bit by anything. Do it's boiling. see the bugs? I mean, they're not the bothering, they're here? actually not bothering me at all. So uh, it's really hot, by the way. He's wearing a winter jacket. I don't care. <laughs> I'd rather have this, not take my chance. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to go back to actual base base camp 
Now, I did want it to have like a secondary camp out in the middle of the forest. We're gonna do that, but let's go back to base camp and then we'll continue on from there. All right, guys, we're back at base camp over here and uh, explore and see if we can catch any evidence of Slenderman throughout this forest today. I'm really like not wanting to put up my tent. Man, I hate doing all the work. That wasn't as graceful as it looks, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> oh, look at my tent. Randy's got to build his tent. It only takes me like a good 30 minutes. Right, so I'm going to go to bed. And by the time you're done building your tent, uh, I'll come back and check with you. Jeez. <laughs> Guys, this is literally, if you want to get a tent, this is the best tent ever. I love these things. They work so good. It's from a company called Outbound. This is not a promo, but I just absolutely love it. Well, hey, you got to wait for like uh, 20, 30 minutes as I go set up my tent. Exactly. I'll just sit on my phone or something. <laughs> All right, you guys. Tent is up. We're gonna go and explore a little bit and see if we can find anything before it gets a little bit darker and we have dinner. Um, this is gonna be super cool. This might get dangerous. We don't know what we're gonna find out here. But you never know what happens on these adventures. We are out in the middle of nowhere, literally. This is, gonna... this is a giant piece of land that she just owns, owns alone. Yeah. 100 acres. And not just that, that 100 acres is surrounded by thousands yeah, of th acres. Yeah, thousands of acres. So like, Slenderman like literally spills onto this property. He probably comes here. I don't know. We're gonna be trekking through the forest there. We actually ended up finding a different opening thanks to the help of the owner. She told us that, hey, there's a better way to get into the forest than the other way that you guys were trying to get into. The other way had more swamp lands, the actual forest, and where the sightings have happened are through here. So the area that we're actually going to is where the sightings, um, and the photos that I'm about to show you guys right here. These photos were actually taken across many various years that took place in this forest i'm not sure exactly where well she mentioned that one of the photographs that she took personally yeah is up ahead so somewhere on in these woods okay let's go let's go check it out oh this is getting creepy now we're getting all forest oh wow yeah i saw that there's like a head over here oh it's like a that's a deer head why do we always come across dead things with the go heads yeah. Whatever those things were. If you guys watched episode one, we came across a, the goat heads. Well, we think that they're goat heads. We don't know. They look like goat they heads. They look like it. Yeah. So now we come across this. That's a goat too, eh? No. A horn? No. That's a deer. That's a, oh, yeah, you're right. That's a deer antler. That's really cool though. I'm going to leave that right here. Um, Yeah. Maybe Slenderman did that. Hey, this is kind of looking familiar to me from the photo, right? The clearing, yeah. Right? I think this is one of the clearings from I the think photo. It's just a little bit more vegetation since she took it. it was yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. Uh huh. Depending on the season, too. Look at this. This kind of looks like that. But we can't walk down that way. It's, it's all wet there, so we're going to have to go around. All right, so the path hasn't been used in actually a long time because. They were kind of scared after the sightings. Um, this is the path here. It's actually overgrown right now. Whoa. It's like Jurassic Park out here. Does this not like give you Jurassic Park vibes? Well, it's like we're in the middle of a jungle. I don't know how you're surviving in a winter jacket in the summertime in the jungle. Hey man, it keeps the bugs away. That's all that matters. I mean, the bugs are barely bothering me. I think you're just you're like- special. Blood. <laughs> so which way do we go? Left. Left? No, that just takes us back to where we were. I think we got to go right. She mentioned logs. Yeah, there we go. There's the logs right there. There's the off. This is getting more and more foresty, as you guys can see. It's cool though. Oh, whoa. Come on, Rennie. I might have to abandon the doghouse. No, Rennie, you're, you're gonna bring that doghouse. So we're bringing the doghouse. It's gonna be like our secondary camp for the night. Um, as we come back through here at nighttime, it's probably gonna get crazy at nighttime because the bugs and stuff. There are bears out here and wolves. We are in bear territory. Like, hey, we just realized like we're in bear territory. We you know are. that? All I have is like a little knife on me, but it's okay. So we're finding a lot of areas. This is kind of like some of the areas that you know she told us about, and uh, it's looking kind of creepy. But Slenderman, huh? Doghouse. Yeah, this is this is gonna be like maybe. I wonder where there's a clearing, an opening. This might be our base camp too over here. Not base camp, but like. With the doghouse. Doghouse. So the doghouse that we have, a long time ago, Rennie and I actually used it for a video, and we called it a tent. And a lot of you guys just really went to town on us, <laughs> like really got mad at us for calling it a tent. I mean, it looks like a tent. It's it's kind of like a tent. Yeah. But it's actually a doghouse. Um, we have our ignorance. That's used for hunting. So these areas might be good here. So we're just gonna keep walking and see if we can find better areas. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is there's like bumblebees everywhere here, so it's not gonna be a good idea. And we're just gonna walk through a little bit more, and we'll plant we'll plant a doghouse. So the place we're staying at, the only reason that she let us basically go on her property, is again she doesn't want to openly disclose that she had an experience with Slenderman to the public, but she wants us to investigate because when she was younger, when she had a child, that child went missing in the woods and she suspects that it's Slenderman. 
The police went looking, they couldn't find the child. There's no remnants, no nothing. They don't suspect that there's any foul play. So again, that's the reason she's letting us stay on the property. I don't know about you, but I find it depressing. What? She's all by herself now. And her daughter went missing. I know, it sucks. This was the playground. The father built all this for the daughter. Yeah. And See, notice how it's like kind of overgrown because you know no one's used it like we're right by the tents you guys and it's pretty sad it feels sad there's like a sad energy all right you guys we're gonna put our second base camp over here in this like marshland kind of area another area where slenderman has been sighted so this is kind of like where we're gonna set up a little bit of a trap and by trap i mean like a, a camera and uh yeah let's do it right here all right so we're gonna pop up the doghouse here and... oh <laughs> it's another one of those magical tents. Jeez, I forgot that this one opens up that way. Holy moly. If Slenderman doesn't kill me, this tent will. <laughs> Sorry, doghouse. You got it. Good job. Hello. Would you like some cookies? Uh, no thank you. Want some candy? <laughs> yeah, this is actually a cool place. We can set up the camera. See if it records anything. The whole point of this doghouse is to kind of set up like a camera. Oh, tripod. We're gonna leave a tripod in here and the camera aimed out this way because this is where he's been sighted And we're just gonna leave it running here all day. It's kind of like having eyes Exactly. Um, a different vantage point for the rest of the day different vantage point. Exactly. We're probably gonna be switching over to night vision as well at nighttime Who's that? Where? Dude, I literally just seen something like a big shadow like, In broad daylight? Like the forest line back there? Yeah, yeah. I, I right. seen a big shadow Oh, what the hell was that? Uh, oh my god, my heart is beating. What did you actually see though? Like It was like a big shadow. It, like a big, big, big shadow. It couldn't be a bird or anything, dude. It's a big shadow. Well, look at that. We can easily just aim the camera. Oh, yeah, we're gonna... That okay. way. You know what? Repositioning it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I just I just seen a huge shadow. <laughs> That's perfect. I don't know if I, like hunger is getting to me or the <laughs> getting to me. We might have a chance of getting Slenderman. Like, the reason why we think like if we have like a little base here, I'm leaving a camera here. Maybe he'll approach it. You never know. Like bait, almost, Maybe essentially. Maybe a bear will approach yeah. it. We don't know. Maybe a moose will show up. Well, the camera will tell us in the morning, so exactly. we'll know then. All right, guys. Let's head back to base camp. We're going to plant a camera here, and uh, we'll continue on with this adventure. All right, you guys. I have you... Oh, so close. I have you guys set up on a tripod right now. And uh, that's running right there and aimed right outside, so... You guys are going to spend the day in the doghouse. Um, we're actually going to have another camera back at the campsite, but this one is dedicated to this here, the doghouse. So this is a doghouse cam, and uh, hopefully it catches something tonight. Got a fresh new battery in there, and uh, well, it's going to last a long time. We're good. Yeah, so I'll let it just roll for a few hours. I'll see you guys later. Then. We're filming on a GoPro right now. Let me just show you guys what we got going on here. We got some steaks. Mm. Come on, when you come out with both our mm, Not too. But four four steaks. steaks. We eat big. Like, this is like the only meal I've had. To, we're gonna have today. We got steaks. We're gonna make a salad. We got some Caesar salad. If you guys hear like a lawnmower cutting grass, it's because of the soundtrack that we're using for this video, yeah. <laughs> and not the owner of the property cutting her grass. It's okay. She's allowed to cut her grass. Um, big shout out to her for letting us use this place, anyways. So we're gonna make some steaks right now, and uh, we're gonna eat them. And you guys are gonna watch us eat them while slobbering all over yourself. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a little ASMR. ASMR steak. I don't even think there was a point for us to buy this wood. I love that uh, she felt a little insulted when we told her we brought our own wood. Yeah. She's Especially like, given the fact that we're on 100 acres of woodland yeah, she told that she that. owns. She's like, I have wood. I and look at this. Look at this. Well, what is this? What did she leave for us? Wood. Wood. <laughs> and we still put ours in. Yeah, but you know what? We got this. I think that's enough. Is it though? Uh. Is it? Miss, your property burned down. <laughs> I know we're joking around guys. I know this is a serious thing. Slender man could possibly be in these woods, but we have to add some sort of comedic element to these videos because we're here to entertain you guys in the end. Like who gets to go to Slender man forest and cook steaks? No one. No one. And we got fire, baby. Look at that, you guys. Mm -mm. I can't wait. We're gonna barbecue some yummy steaks. <laughs> I can't wait for this. I'm so excited. I love grilling stuff in the outdoors. It's crazy. We cheated this time. We didn't make the fire on our own. We did. A little with the help of like half a bottle of accelerant. I mean, yes, I did use a whole pretty much an entire bottle of accelerant and a whole bag of this stuff, but hey, we're not here to survive in the wild. I mean, we are, but we're here to document Slender Man, right? We just need to eat. So, if you guys wonder something, hey, Mo, how do you eat when you're out on these adventures? This is exactly how we do it. Uh, the best way to make a strong fire is to fan it, you know? Wh what, are you, what exactly are you using there to fan it? Um, 
a board. Yeah, what type of board? Like a board game. Okay. Do you mind? Okay. <laughs> That's all I had, man. It's all I have. We're going to have a haunted steak right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> but like it's working though, right? Because it's like the best thing ever. It's That's really clearly stiff. working, yeah. It's hard. It's not going to break, you know? Well, Why just... is it that every time you and I go camping, you got to use those in innuendos? Ouija boards work, man. Yeah. That's well, it's clearly working. Yeah. I see. Uh, yeah, I see all the smoke going in the direction that it should be. I like it. <laughs> As you guys can see, the steaks are cooking really well. I only made two. Brenny apparently doesn't want to have steak. I don't know why. I make good steaks. Let me just say that. I got some steaks. I got a couple of tomatoes. I like tomatoes on the barbecue. Simple, simple. You know, just some protein. Obviously got my Caesar salad over here. Easy peasy. Gonna be a long night, so I do need my energy. Because yo, Slenderman, my boy, we're coming for you. You've dropped your steak twice into the fire now. Accidents happen, okay? Accidents you happen. You clearly like it well done. Yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I meant to... <laughs> Oh, ooh, what did you forget, Mo? A tongue. <laughs> You gotta get close in there. No, oh, it's hot. And uh, you only used like the entire bottle of accelerant. It's a little bit black, but it's okay. I have two other steaks. Okay. Oh, yeah, just, just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Renny, I just lost my steak because of you. <laughs> no. Oh. It's still good. There's a two hour still good. Roll, two still hour good. Roll on it. <laughs> well, I mean, you definitely don't have to worry about any bacteria being on it. You, I don't even care. Ow. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I burnt, oh my god, I burnt the hairs on, I literally burnt the hairs on my fingers. Look, they're oh, all you're curly. Like a, you're like a woman now. They're all curly and burnt. There you go. There you go. Well done, man. You. Well done. Jesus. I, I, I made the mistake and I only brought two plastic forks. <laughs> Where's this, a piece of it? This one's good. This I uh, probably in the steak somewhere. <laughs> no, I broke them off. They broke off. Right Looks anyway. good though. Oh yeah, it's probably oh, yeah. gonna taste good too. Hold on, let me give it a try. There's a, this, this is a piece of fat. Come closer, I want to hear that chewing noise. I want that ASMR, okay? A little bit burnt, but amazing. Oh my God, this is some good steak. And look, you got some salad to complement it. Yeah, we got some salad. Apparently, Rennie doesn't want to eat for some reason. Because my stomach is on the fritz. He, does, he had one banana, he's like, I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Note to yourself, don't bring Rennie with me. Oh, anymore. by the way, uh, you might want to give it a little bit of time before you go into the, uh, the outhouse there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good thing I'm sleeping on that side, huh? Right by the bathroom? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. You, you... All right. No coffee for us. Oh, yeah. I forgot the coffee pot. So we're going to have iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Actually. It's time to rate your uh, cooking. So, we obviously have some steak here, guys. Um, I like a lot of fat on my steak. Like, if there ain't no meat, I don't eat. And if there ain't no fat, then... I should come up with a term for that. I should come up for a term for that. There you go. There you go. Really should have brought. You're having a little bit of di difficulty uh, cutting through that steak there. Well, it's because it's a plastic knife. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I'm sure it's clean. We've attracted some uh, hornets. It looks like. I'm sure this is a clean knife. <laughs> Guys, we're in no, the just dip it in the fire. We're in the outdoors. You know, you got to make do with what you have. There we go. Mmm. Triple A steak. This is like steakhouse quality steak. It was really good. Look at all those juices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Slender Man, do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I know. What is going on? So we brought this gizmo. It measures like electromagnetic energy. If Slender Man is nearby, it stopped. Stop. If Slender Man is nearby, that thing's gonna go off. And we're, I'm like having dinner, and it started going off like crazy. Look, it stopped now. Yeah. Okay. What the hell did that? That's so. It's been sitting here the whole time. The whole dude. time. I, oh. I don't even. I don't even want to eat it. <laughs> That's creepy. That's one way to spoil your appetite. Stop now. All right, let's. All right, guys. It is kind of starting to get a little bit dark now. We're in the evening. Um, finished having dinner. I put on a long sleeve because the mosquitoes out here are relentless. We actually uh, kind of just walked deeper into the forest areas that we haven't been in just yet we're finding a lot of these trails and stuff also locations to where you know good old slendy was sighted so we're just gonna keep walking down the trail and see what we can find we might find something cool it looks really creepy here though unbelievably creepy what the hell did we just stumble what is that a tree house i didn't know there was gonna be a tree house here you guys i think that's a hunting stand dude Think so? Whoa. I don't see a ladder or anything. Oh, look, there's a chair up there. 
That's How a, are you supposed to get up there, though? I don't know. Maybe we can get a ve better vantage point. Look at it, though. Look at the state of it. Looks really I'm climbing it. You know that. Hello, anyone up there? Dude, let's go. Let's climb. Climb it? Yeah, there's a ladder back here. <laughs> it's seen better days. Oh, boy. Screw it. Well, did you see the front of it? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't trust it. I don't think... I mean, it's wood. Live a little, right? Live a little, guys. Let's go. I've already, uh... <laughs> Met my quota for injuries for the year, so yeah, you have. On you, brother. Runny had a lot of injuries on these videos in the winter time. He's a liability. I've been quite a bit of a liability today too. We've had some. I don't know, man. You've been quite clumsy today, so don't push it. How would? How did we just stumble upon this hunting stand? Good thing you lost weight. I was just about to say that. Good thing I dropped over 25 pounds so far. Oh, okay, here we go. We're at the top. There's poop up here. Look, like animal poop. Human poop. Animal, or maybe humans, probably animal though. I just realized the state of this ladder, like climbing up here. Did you not see the front end of this, like, hunting? <gasps> there's it's bullets up here. Destroyed. There's bullets. So there's a bullet casing right there, you guys. I, I just want to grab that bullet casing, that's all. <clears throat> what is that? That is a 308. It's funny because I said that in my head. It's a 308 Winchester. So. I recently, I recently got my gun license, guys, and I had to like kind of learn bullets too, so it's kind of cool. 308 Winchester, that's a souvenir. Oh, all there is is like a chair up here. It's like an old abandoned. It, it's, it's definitely abandoned. Oh, all right, so I'm going down. <laughs> this is sketchy. I just realized how like sketchy this ladder is. Rennie, behind you, behind you. Rennie in the woods, in the woods, behind you. I just seen something above the trees, like actually something tall. Here, ca catch this bullet for me. I just seen something tall. Past those trees over there. Did you get on camera? No, I had the camera aimed at me. I came up here for a vantage point, and between those trees down there, kind of like 11 o'clock, is kind of where I seen something. It was definitely taller than that dead tree that I'm looking at up ahead. Oh, wow, what was that? It was like what I saw earlier today. Remember how I was telling- saw where we planted the dog house where yeah. the camera's pointing? Yeah. It's kind of like where I saw that. that. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, I need to get down from this tree right now. The fact that we found us, we found a bullet, and then I seen a shadow. Could be Slenderman, it could be something else. I, it, getting down here is kind of sketchy, man. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. All right, hold on, let me let me take a couple steps down. Wow, you guys are here with me. Oh, Jesus. I just realized what I've, what I've even climbed. Like, I'm gonna have to give you the camera, dude. All right, so I just honestly, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Flimsy dude. Dude, I just climbed it. Like climbing something is easy, but climbing Climbing down, down is a different is story. So scary. The so, entire frame of the ladder is so bending as you go too. This to. was a hunting stand. And you know what the lady told me? She told me somebody, another a dude, like is supposedly to have gone missing in this forest as well. Like a guy, she said he had like long brown hair, a beard. Okay. Maybe glasses or something like that. I don't know what his name was. She told me, but I don't remember it. Wait, did this happen recently though? I think she told me she, he went missing like 18, 16 days ago, something like so that. Recently. Yeah, recently. So hopefully, whoever he is, he's found. Apparently he went missing in this forest. I'm trying to find evidence of like more gun sh shots. Guys, look at this. There it is right there. It's just a hunting stand or like a, a Slenderman hunting stand. <laughs> like that's a high hunting stand in my opinion. Well, you found the bullet casing. So yeah. It's definitely for hunting. Yeah. But what if they were shooting at Slenderman? Right? I <laughs> when I was at the hunting stand all the way back there, I seen like a tall shadowy oh. figure. Oh, pick it up. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? What did you find? I could have sworn I just saw what you saw. What did you see? I saw like a, a figure, like moving through the trees, like the clearing up ahead. I actually saw the trees like bending. Did you capture on film like the sound? No, I, I didn't hear How, enough. You didn't hear that? There's no sound. I mean, I was running. Oh, look at this place, dude. It's creepy. Look at how all these trees are broken and they're like... Slenderman? <gasps> tree breaking. That was a tree breaking. That was near. It could be a big bear though. But even that, we should be worried about that. You know what I mean? This is a strange forest. This is like grass here. It's weird. Usually when I go into forests, there's like no grass. 
still just like rocks and mud and stuff. But there's actually a lot of grass on the ground. Dude, what, what would happen if we did find him though? Like if we came face to face with Slenderman? That's the question we never asked. Do you what have the, we do when we actually come face to face? Do you have the meter? The Slenderman meter with you? Uh, I do actually, yes. Oh boy. If that Slenderman meter does go off, which it hasn't. Okay, yeah. oh. No. That was a coincidence. I thought because I was reaching out to it. If he's nearby, that's gonna give us an electromagnetic signal. Keep in mind guys, we're in the middle. It went a little bit. It spikes. Here, let me let me get it. it out, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, mosquitoes biting me. I'm gonna hold it as I'm walking. So the way that's supposed to work is supposedly if Slender Man is nearby, it's supposed to go off. Well, any electromagnetic energy, yeah. Slender Man emits a magnetic energy, right? So would it work if we got like close to like the camera or a phone, for instance? Well, I'm, I'm right up to the lens. Yeah. So no, the meter is not going off right now. Let's head back to the path that we were walking. We kind of like ran in here because of uh, Rennie. Which way was it? I think it was that way. We better not get lost in this damn forest. It's really massive guys. We actually walked a distance to get out here. Although like the property that we're camping out on is big. The forest is connected to an even bigger forest as we told you at the beginning of the well, video. It has 100 acres of land and like I was mentioning earlier on, it's surrounded by thousands. Yeah, thousands of acres. So we don't want to get lost out here. Keep in mind, there are bears and there's moose. And a moose is honestly, I'm actually more terrified of a moose than a bear. Like, have you ever seen one? Up in person? They're yeah, huge. literally beside my house. I seen two of them beside my house one day and they were just freaking massive. A black bear will like kind of run away because like they're kind of chickens. Hey, what's this? Is this someone's jacket? Is that clothing? I think so. Oh, what the hell? What is, is that? that? That's someone's jacket. Yep. That's a jacket. Jesus. Shh. I hear someone talking. You hear that? I heard someone talk. <gasps> Dude? Dude? I know, I'm not here. Dude? Is something around us? That's what I'm checking. Why is it going off like that? What the f is going on? It won't stop going off. It's literally going off in every direction. It won't stop. I don't see anything or anyone. I, I don't see anything. Either. Or I don't hear any movement. Maybe that's a good sign, but. Stand still? I'm perfectly still, dude. Something is close to us. It literally won't stop. What do you think? It's gone. I see we get out of this area. I'm kind of scared. I don't know. You know what we should do? We should go back to the doghouse and see if the camera picked up anything. You want to go back and do that? Why is there a jacket? I don't. I don't want to find but out. Why did it just go off when we found the jacket? I know, and it's buried, right? Like it's clearly buried because yeah. it was overgrown by a lot of stuff. Let's get out of this area. It's kind of creepy, man. That's a campsite right there. Yeah, I know people go out into the woods and make campsites, but like this is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Why would someone make one here specifically? Maybe the guy that went missing. That's what actually I was thinking. Like we're deep in here, right? Yeah. We're not on that lady's property. Like we're no, we're far off from her. Far off from her line. 100 acres is big, but like it's still easy to get through 100 acres. That was loud. I know. That was a weird screech. I'm not talking about that chipmunk that we heard last year. No, 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 no. I no longer hear it. And your thing's not going off. No, it's not going off right now. It's on. It's just not going off right now. Oh. Ooh. Right here for some reason. Are you with us? Slender man, we want to talk to you. Show yourself. Dude. Yeah? I honestly believe Slenderman is around us right now. Did you realize that the camera, the battery, literally cut out when you said Slenderman is here around us? Yeah. And that's like, uh, that battery's not new, but it's also not old. Yeah, but what's the chances that at that very specific moment you say that, 
the meter Dude, goes off. Like glitch on the camera lens or I, I actually wasn't paying the attention. The camera died. We had to change the battery just yeah. now. But as he was about to turn on the camera, like I spotted something, like a shadow. Back Again? There. Yeah. Dude, you know what's going to be sleeping out here at nighttime? <laughs> I know. Like we're like right now it's daytime. Like and it's scary. It's, it's completely different ambience at nighttime. Like that first night that we recorded out there when we found those heads out in the woods. Jesus Christ. What? What? I you keep feel, staring out and that. I feel like I feel like we're being watched, and I'm, it's making me like uneasy. It's unsettling. And now that I just came to the realization that we're sleeping here the night. Yeah. There's a. I think it's a binder. There's like bullet holes. Whoa! Oh, what the hell is this? What does it say? The lock below the elbow discharge. Wow, we just found a, bi a binder that someone's shot at for some reason. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's been burnt too. Look at it, the paper on the inside. Well, probably the bullets, right? They were hot. Might have set it on fire. I can't read what's on it though. No, it's too. No, I don't see what it says. Well, what are the odds of finding this right here right now, right? It's actually not too far from that campsite we found. No. Dude, what if that dude that went missing, like what if that was his? I don't know. That could have been his campsite too. What? There's a road here. So we haven't walked out this way yet. Look at this. There's like a road that's all like wet. And... I thought it was a river from a distance. Holy crap. Which way did we go? <laughs> I actually don't remember which way we came from. Well, we came back way back from that, that way. Let's which way's back road. though? Huh? Like, I lost my bearings. Let's like, follow this road and see where it leads us. Okay. Right? Like there's like this gravel road in here. We're literally at a fork. I don't know whether or not to go right or left. I say we go right. It's always like, I think right is always the Right best is option. right. What do you guys think? Left the best option or is right the best option? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go right. You want to go left or you want to go right? Right is right. Let's go right. Let's go right. It's going off again. Yeah. Okay, that, that was a chipmunk. That scared me. <laughs> Wait, We're on wait, edge, man. Wait, what if Slenderman like makes chipmunk noises? That would be a uh, more comical. But why here? Look at this place. It's like a, I don't know if this is a road or a, a dried out riverbed or something. I don't see anything, do you? No, but it's acting up. And it's, notice how before it was really loud. Remember when we were by the tree stand or whatever, it was going off like crazy? It wasn't just loud, it was just one steady pitch. Yeah, and that means he was right on top of us somewhere. Right? Yeah. He's in the distance right now. I'm trying not to get my shoes wet. Oh, Jesus. There's like nowhere to walk. Well, this was going off, I stopped doing it now. Um, I say we head back to our camp. Yeah, check out the doghouse, see if it actually caught anything. Let's do it. Hey, this road just led us to a parking lot. So how long, like, we walked quite some distance to get here. Mm. Holy moly. Quite a lot of distance. <laughs> Sound of civilization. Yeah, <laughs> kind of wish I had my car here. Yeah. But look at this, guys. This road led us to a parking lot, right? Forest access, road use at own risk. No dumping. No shooting, okay. So you can't shoot here, then why the hell did we find a, a hunting stand? Look at that. that, that sign said no shooting. What? Check what out? What? Look at that, what is that? Read it. You're f***ing with me. It's right there. Seriously? Yeah. Is this the guy that she was telling us about? Read the description though. He was wearing black jeans. Has been missing since Tuesday morning, July, July 13th. July 13th. <gasps> That's what, 16 days ago? Around. No. So she was actually telling the truth about that? Wow. But maybe it's just like a coincidence, someone That's else. That's a very big coincidence. That's a huge coincidence. Oh, wow. And I blurred the whole thing, like the image, the, the phone, there's a phone number there. He's That's been missing that. since Tuesday morning. That's exactly what she said. July 13th, around 2 a.m. He was wearing black jeans. We didn't find black jeans. A green binder. 
What did we find? He had a green binder with him. That green dossier looking thing, that binder. A button up jacket. His beard is much longer than the photo. If you see him, please contact the fault. Wow. Okay, so this might have been the guy that went missing that she was talking to us about. What are the chances of us finding that we, green Look guys, we just that? got to this big ass empty parking lot over here. We trekked through the forest to get here and we find that. We gotta go back in and walk back to the land that we were camping on. Dude, that's wild. That's actually really scary. I'm kind of like nerd. Huh. We heard the noises. It's almost as if it was leading us toward finding what we found. Huge forest, thousands of acres. What's the chances that we stumble upon a green binder and a jacket? And a picture of a missing man. Yeah, like what are the chances? And every single time we heard that thing go off, we heard noises in the distance, we saw figures in the distance. So you know what that... It, it's almost as if it was leading us to You it. know what that tells you? We're onto something. Actually, like with this whole experiment, the Slenderman experiment, we're actually onto something. And I'm kind of like liking this now. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So we did leave a trap, kind of like a camera trap, way back on that property. Let's get back there before it gets too dark. We have like a half an hour trek back there, I think, through the woods. It's tiring, <laughs> let me just say that. But at least I have some long sleeves on because I changed because uh, mosquitoes. Let's go back through the forest and maybe our doghouse cam can found something. Really not looking forward to going back off trail and cutting through the forest again because it is giving me the heebie-jeebies, but hey, we gotta do it. All right, you guys, we just finally made it back to our campsite. We're gonna go and check on the doghouse. It's very dark out now, as you guys can see. Hopefully it caught something. I I'd be happy if it caught like an animal, maybe like a bear or something. The camera has been rolling. Yeah, I should have left the steak. So the camera does roll in 20 minute intervals. So it films 20 minutes and then it stops and then it films more and then it stops and it films more. So it sucks that it has to do that, but I didn't make cameras. If I could have made that camera, I would have just left it rolling right through. And like, honestly, hopefully the battery didn't die because it has been rolling for quite some time. Where are you doghouse? AKA our little tent. Where is it? Wasn't it like over here? Yeah, it should be around here. Was it here though? Look. No. I don't see it. It was here. Seriously? Where is it? <gasps> what the f Is that it? That's it. What happened to it? Where's my camera? Why is that there? What is that? Why is that there? That's a little kid's chariot. Dude, where's my camera? Uh, whoa, look look at the doghouse. <gasps> oh my god. Did, did a bear? Be I'm thinking yeah, that. Did a bear come through here? Did a bear come through here? What happened to the doghouse? Where's my camera, dude? My camera's gone. Where the f is my camera? <gasps> there oh, it's under it. Oh, I knocked down my camera? Is it okay? Is it okay? Please tell me it's okay. Please tell me we got something on camera. Something did that. Dude, why is the doghouse all shredded? Is it still working? Does it turn on? Please tell me it turns on. Oh, it turns on. Wait. S something knocked it down. Why would it be off? Something knocked it down. I, I know, but why would it be off? We had a recording, it would be on on. Why was it off? It was on the off button? Yeah. Are you sure it just wasn't set to like, like pause mode? Because it was shut, it was, I think it was just on pause mode. So it was shut down. What, like if you leave it running and it's not recording, um, it just goes into pause mode. But. What did it record? What did it record? Why is it on the ground? Please tell me you got, dude, if we caught Slender Man, I think it's a bear though. Like. Oh, hang on, this is a long clip. Is that noise? I heard like a baby. Review the clip, I'll, I'll, I'll look out. Um, Explain to me one thing. What? Why is this kid's tricycle thing over here? Whatever this is. What the f is that? Like, where did it come from? I mean, they did have a missing child at one point here, right? Fast forward a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and fast forward that. See what you found, dude. We have a lot of footage, guys. There's a lot of footage to review, so I'm wondering if we actually caught anything. The doghouse looks like it's been shredded by a bear or something. We should open it up. Let's open it up and see. Did you get anything? I'm looking, I'm looking. <gasps> what? Oh! What? Oh my god. Wait, what? Look, oh fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewind it. Okay, you, wait, you, you wait. Gotta check, you gotta check this out. Really? Seriously? Yeah. What is it? Is it a bear? It's a bear, isn't it? It's a bear. I, I, 
I saw a dark figure go by, but then the whole freaking thing gets flipped over. Wait, like you can see the tent getting flipped yeah. over? Yo, yo, cut, cut it. You gotta check this out. Really? Yeah, check this out. If we did not have the camera rolling, you guys would never believe what we just caught on camera. I'm gonna throw in this clip right now. This is what we just caught. That looked like a f***ing Slenderman figure. Bro, do you realize what we just caught on camera? Mm -hmm. Again. This, is, this is what we came out here to find. And we caught Slenderman on camera. First of all, where the f*** did this come from? We, you know, it sounded like there was a loud bang. It couldn't really see it too much because it was dark, right? I think that's what that was. I think this was the little kid's chariot. But why is it here? He threw it at the f***ing tent. Why? Why? I don't know. Maybe he's messing with us, letting us know that he f Took that kid? Wait, wait. Kid went missing, so is it related somehow? This is, is he like mocking us? Is he playing? Maybe with this us? is the kid's chariot, dude. Look at it, it looks old. Yeah, look at it. It looks old, it looks raggedy. It looks like it's been through hell. Hey, look dude, at this. Open that up, open that up. Dear God. <gasps> wow. Dude, it's wow. Dude, I love this thing. This thing was like $200. I absolutely love the. Oh, is it all broken, dude? Look it's it, it's mangled with the broken. shit. It's like a bear, actually. Open it up, open it up all the way, because it still opens up. I think. Try it out. See if it opens up. I'm just trying to avoid your ass crack. This thing's completely screwed, man. Is it? Yeah, it's completely screwed. Here, hold the camera. Let me see. This thing looks like it got shredded. To absolute fucking pieces. Oh shit. What happened to this thing? Oh, there we go. It's totally destroyed. What the f happened? Look at the roof here. Give I know, it looks like it was mauled. It was mauled by something. Guys, look, every part of it is completely ripped open. It's got like a weird fluid on it too. What the fuck is that? Ew, smell it. What is that? I don't know, that's gross. It's everywhere. Man, I love this thing. Are you serious? Look, the, dude, do you see this side? This side is like non-existent. This is where the zipper was from the front. This is destroyed. It literally looks like something f***ed it up. Like absolutely messed it up. Dude, I want to go back to my tent. I want to go back to stay near that, t uh, that that fire. I'm actually terrified of this now. Do we actually just get f***ing Slenderman? Or something that looks tall? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do we actually just get it on camera? Like... Is it still out here somewhere? I don't know if it's still out here. I, I, honestly, I don't, like, I don't want to find Let's out. Go Let's go back to the tent. This is... Uh, shh. What was that? Oh, that was a dog. Yo, what if the dog at the tent is getting attacked? There's a dog. It lives on the property. Uh, it sounds like it's in danger. Dude, let's go back right let's now. Go. Let's go back. We just got back to the campsite. Uh, the dog's okay. We seen the dog over there. It was barking. The dog belongs to the owner. My camera's all messed up. Holy shit. Is it good? Here's the thing. I'm not really worried about this thing coming all the way here to the campsite. Why not? Be because the owner's house is literally 10 feet away or 20 feet away. So what difference does that make? But that, that means they would have had attacks at their house. They've never had anything like that at the house. Yeah, They've only had it in the forest. Yeah, but it's different. Maybe we're here now and it wants us. Do you think because we're antagonizing it, trying to trap it, capture it on camera? Possibly. I am just as shocked as each and every one of you guys when you see that footage. Because, dude, it destroyed my freaking life. What do you think? What was that? Do you think that was Slenderman? But there was like a weird noise. As, like, you could hear something rustling with the tent. Yeah. If it was a bear, you would hear a bear, right? That's what I mean. I don't think it was an animal. No, like, why would a bear what just... What was that? What do you think it was? Yeah, exactly. 
Man, what a freaking development in this experiment. Like, we just captured Slenderman. Well, at least what we believe looks like Slenderman, like... Well, that's the thing. I'm trying to think what else could it be. What else could it be? Not a demon? That. It's not, probably not a demon, no. It looks identical to what they captured on the photos, too. Yeah, and that was like in that area, too, right? Two years ago when we filmed them, we captured on film. It looks exactly like that. Hmm. I don't know if I want to sleep here tonight. Like... <laughs> Actually, no. Should we? I think we should. Because if in case like something does happen, we can get it on camera, right? You, you honestly think we're safe just because we're so close to the house? I believe so. I believe so. Because like, think about it. They would have told us like they've had attacks at the house, right? They have another tent out there which belongs to the family. I think we should definitely sleep here. Like, I did get my tent ready, honestly. Like, <sighs> it's going to be nervous. It's going to be like nerve-wracking to sleep in here. My tent's all ready. I got my favorite pillow, I got my favorite doll to hug at nighttime since my wife's not with me. And I got all my stuff here, so I think I am going to be sleeping here. We are going to be sleeping here. Not think, we are. So, what's going to happen is, I did want to get night vision footage for you guys. Problem is, I left my night vision battery at home, which sucks. And home is very far away from where we are now. So, I'm going to keep this camera with me tonight. You have a cell phone camera. Actually, we have a GoPro as well. You can use a GoPro at nighttime, so if you hear... I'm just going to stay up, honestly. Do you want to bring your tent closer to me? <laughs> because I'm like scared for you over there. Like me, I'm backed by here. You know, I got my, my truck blocking this entrance yeah, over here. This is like right next to the woods. Like the, the trees. Oh, you're there. right. And you're like out in the open where the house is. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm so terrified. Oh. All right, man. Smash the like button, guys. We're going to sleep here. I don't give Are a shit. Are you actually going to sleep? We're going to sleep here, yeah. I'll, I'll stay with you, but I don't think I'm going to sleep. I think I'm just going to chill by the fire. I don't know. I mean, I'll sleep, dude. We've been at it. It's late. We've been well, at I'm it. Tired, but it's like 12 o'clock right now. Sleep. All right, we can just chill by the fire then until we fall asleep. <laughs> if we have any more developments on the situation, on the Slenderman experiment, we'll let you guys know. If not, I'm going to jump into my tent, put on my pajamas, hug my Annabelle doll, and go to bed. I love how freaking chill you are all about, about all this. Like, wow. Dude, we've had worse shit happen. Yeah, but... Like, we're safe. We're, we haven't battled, been... But what, we, we're safe. Caught on camera. We're safe. We haven't been attacked yet. Right? Yeah, but... Nothing's happened yet. yet. We haven't been attacked yet. Exactly. That's what we're here for. This is the Slenderman experiment. We have to document this. Right? Yeah. Yo, Slenderman, my boy. All right, sergeants. It's super, super late at nighttime. Rennie's going to bed. I'm in my tent now. About to get ready to sleep. Brought a sweater with me just in case it gets too cold. The weather does drop here at nighttime. Um, always keep a bottle of water with me before when I go to sleep. I do got a baseball bat with me as well, just in case a bear or slender man shows up. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. What we caught on camera was freaking crazy. You guys seen it. We seen it. Unbelievable. I can't wait to actually show the footage to the owner of the property. Like, they're going to be mind blown. By the way, guys, I literally have, like, the coolest sleeping bag ever. It's so soft. It's so thick. And, uh, keeps me nice and warm. It's rated for, like, 24 degrees Fahrenheit and like minus three minus four Celsius obviously it's not gonna get that cold anytime soon maybe in like the next couple of months but right now we're still in summertime and uh, it's actually really cushiony got a lot of cushion so it's comfortable I'm gonna shut the camera off like I said earlier if I do get anything on camera a strange noise what the hell was that just heard a very strange noise outside Rennie scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. Why did you just throw your sleeping bag at me? Jesus Christ, you scared the crap out of me. Sweet dreams, man. <laughs> what do you mean sweet dreams? You just gave me a heart attack. Jesus Christ, go to bed, Renny. What are you doing to your sleeping bag? Oh, you got cutting it open? Yeah. You haven't set up your tent yet? Don't give me a freaking heart attack, man. Jeez, I heard noises outside. I was just... Renny. Man, I trust no one in this hood. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go to bed. 
if I hear anything other than Rennie. <laughs> Stop flashing your lights at me. He's being annoying right now. Whatever, Rennie, don't go to bed. Just stay there all night and just guard my tent. I get really scared when I sleep in these tents in the forest, guys. They always get so scary. Like, you never know what's gonna pop up at you. There's like bears here, there's moose, there's like bears and moose and wolves. <laughs> That's why I got this trusty baseball bat with me. But anyways, I'll check back with you guys later on in the morning.